the world is shifting demographically. It's finally caught up and the baby boomers have retired. This glut of employees that's been available for a long, long, long time is no longer available because they're all retiring. And we don't have the employees to fill that gap. Warning, Damien Andrews' growing revenue and profit, if implemented, will put more money in your pocket. Please use with caution. Damien Andrews' growing revenue and profit. A new Gallagher report has come out and retaining top talent has overtaken new revenue revenue new revenue growth in the top spot of what companies are looking for there's 3500 for profit and non profit organizations surveyed by the consulting firm Gallagher and they report that 50 51% um, are focused on retaining top talent as a priority, which are beating out growing sales and revenue, which was 47%. And then there was maintaining decreasing, maintaining or decreasing overall operating costs, which was 29% of the focus focused on that and ensuring business continue and continuity, continuity. There's a word I'm struggling on today is 24%. Now, when we look at that, um, the other thing that we want to have a look at is what are their companies doing to do that? And this is something the Gallagher Report also touches on, which is most organizations, 78% are increasing base salaries to retain employees. Good news for employees, you can get um, higher, more money, higher paid salary. Uh, they're also accessing um, variable compensation or bonus programs. So that's a 40% of focusing on that. Medical benefits, 39%. This is American and the well-being initiatives are 38%, so focusing on the well-being within the organisation. When we look at why employees jump ship and go somewhere else, again, the report helps. So they also talk about the factors of lack of career advancement opportunities. Well, that leads to higher pay, so they link together. Uncaring and uninspiring leadership. Well, I think we've all been demotivated or felt demotivated by a leader and limited ability, uh, limited workplace flexibility. And obviously, COVID threw the massive spanner in the works and went, oh, actually, we can work from home and we we have uh, can do things differently. Obviously, that requires a different management style because it's not so much, or is the person there, but it's more so much are they being productive? And and how we manage that is is very different and not everyone's made that transition very well. But that's certainly something we focus on and and help you with at DamienAndrews.com with our exceptional effort program. There's a number of areas that we implement that kind of change very, very efficiently, very effectively um, to ensure that there is um, that flexibility to be able to work and keep that productivity there as well. If you manage that well, works really, really well. I'll use well again in the sentence. How's that? Uh, the other thing that they found, um, this was a different report back in November 2022 um, by Jobvite, where they said over 12,000 HR leaders, so they interviewed HR leaders, obviously, um, that the top motivations for candidates seeking new jobs was getting more money, 34%, ability to work remotely, 21%, career advancement opportunities, 10%, and leaving a bad manager or company, bad company culture was 9%. I question that kind of data mainly because um, when someone's leaving a company, I know from my own experience working with people, I know a lot of people that left jobs because they um, didn't like the working environment. But when they're asked, they're not going to say that uh, because that offends people. They just say, oh, i got more money. So I, I do question that data. Uh, I think there's a more accurate information around people actually leaving because of the culture. And this is really important in today's world because the world is shifting demographically. It's finally caught up and the baby boomers have retired. This glut of employees that's been available for a long, long, long time is no longer available because they're all retiring. And we don't have the employees to fill that gap. You know, certain countries, uh, certainly Australia, America, in, are in good positions in the sense of the ability to uh, import people, you know, immigration. Um, the, these are desirable places where people want to come and work. And I know from Australia, they've got a million people coming in, according to the government. 
So a lot of people of working age, so that will help from that demographic perspective to provide employees. But it comes back to, again, really you know, the, this focus, this culture focus, retaining talent. How do you retain talent? Um, and that's the, the, it's not that difficult. So we have programs to do that. Part of it's about making sure they're appreciated, career advancement we talked about before, having those structures in place to enable people to feel appreciated. In another way is to ensure that they're connected at their values to your mission. If if you're if things align there, this is part of your employment um, recruitment process where you check, do we, we do we have an alignment on, on our vision and goals and the impact we're going to make? Well, do you know as an organization that the impact that you're intending to make? This is really important. If you can outline that and people can connect to that, they connect on a deeper, deeper purpose. And that's one of the programs that we have. We're talking about leading from within. It's you know, who are you? What is what is the purpose? What why did you get up in the morning? What is it that drives you? That kind of thing. When you know that as an organization, people really connect to that, and you find these people that want to stay with you. A number of the, the organizations I've worked with, um, some of the, the companies they've had employees that are there for thirty years. They love it because the culture is right. They enjoy working there. I mean, that doesn't mean they don't have their gripes. People, people only complain about two things, change in the way things are. But these people are loyal to the the underlying purpose of what that company is. And those people are out there and we need to adjust as to how we're, we're dealing with things. And that's now being reflected as in this report that's come out now that retaining top talent has outstripped, jumped ahead of revenue growth as the top priority of what companies in operations are focusing on to achieve the company objectives. So, um, something to be aware of that there is that shift happening. It's a demographic shift because there isn't the skilled labor there in the market anymore. The world population will shrink over the next um, 10, 20 years. It's going to happen because as the baby boomers start dying off, there isn't the people there to replace them. And you don't replace people overnight. It's not a click of the finger thing. You don't suddenly have a whole bunch of 25-year-olds out there that are going to start entering the workforce. Something to consider. Certainly, we've got a number of programs, damianandrews.com, to help you make that transition shift to create those environments that are really, really compelling. And, and you know, it's not something you want to get left behind on, not in this environment. Demographics are shifting. This is Damien Andrews, Growing Revenue and Profit. 